Welcome to the 2024 National League Division Series here at Dodger Stadium in Los Angeles. The Dodgers and the Padres. This division rivalry clashing in the postseason for a third time the last five years. Each team has won one series, so in a way, the rubber match of sorts here in 2024. And we're about to see Yoshinobu Yamamoto throw out the very first pitch of his Major League Baseball postseason career. This is a guy who's had the ball on the international stage in a ton of big spots. What a monster game this would be for the Dodgers to get off to a good start. He's got dynamic stuff. He pitches a lot of all speed along with the four-seam fastball. Luis Arise. A now three-time batting champion prepares to dig in from the left side. Arise the DH leading off. Fernando Tatis Jr. batting second and right. Jerks and Profar in the three spot as the left fielder. Can Luis Arise get it going against Dodgers pitching? The Padres offense, as we know, is at its best when Arise is doing what he does at the top of the order. That shot to the left side and a leadoff base hit for Luis Arise. Talk about this being a high average, low strikeout team. So Fernando will bat with a man aboard. And Tatis takes outside off the glove of Smith. It's going to roll towards the backstop. And Arise will advance on what I imagine has got to be a pass ball. Just a non-catch from Will Smith. And just like that, the Padres have their first opportunity with runners in scoring position. Runner at second, nobody out. That's in the dirt, kicks away, and Arise is at third. That one is a wild pitch on Yamamoto. So a pass ball and a wild pitch giving two extra bases to the leadoff batter Arise, who reached via the single. In a dangerous spot against Tatis. Here's a 3-1. Takes the walk. First two of reach for the Padres. Right here, he has to keep it to one run. First and third, nobody out, is a huge inning opportunity for the Padres offensively. Jerkson Profar, and it's a cutter that's bounced to second. Lux is there. He'll toss it over to first for the first out, but the Padres get the first run. The Dodgers are just really allowed here in the opening inning for the Padres, A, to get on base, B, to advance in the scoring position, and C, to allow a run. Manny Machado rudely welcomed to Dodger Stadium as per usual. The Padres really try to keep the pressure on Yamamoto. Face of the Padres rise the last few years. Manny Machado who is hitting the air to deep left center field. Edmonds going back. He's at the wall looking. This one going to go for the second time this year. Manny goes big fly in the first inning against Yamamoto. A two run homer and a three to nothing Padre lead. Big time players do big things in big moments. Manny Machado getting the Padres. A big lift here. Two run shot to left center. And that loudness you heard early has been tampered down. Yamamoto, he definitely has had a little bit of an issue in the first inning. And then he settles in. Six ERA in the first. And then after the first, a 2.25. Is lifted in the air to left field to Oscar Hernandez. Two out here in the first. At Yamamoto over 20 pitches now. More importantly, they've got three runs. Xander swings to the first pitch, lines it to right field. That's down for a base hit. One of his old teammate, Mookie Betts. Third hit here in the first inning for the Padres. Grounded to Lux. On a handful of bounces, he gathers and throws. Gets it to Freddie Freeman for the final out of the first inning. Have to figure out right-hander Dylan Cease, the author of a no-hitter this year. And for Cease... Two starts against the Dodgers, a total of 10 and two thirds innings. Allowed just four runs on only eight hits in that period of time. The first batter he'll face, Shohei Otani. 875 regular season games and thousands more days before, between, and after that Otani has waited for this moment to step onto the field in a postseason game. 2-2 to Otani is lifted in the air to short left field, and Jurickson Profar will come on. I've got to imagine that is a huge sigh of relief for Dylan Cease and the Padres just to check that box. Here's Mookie Betts. In a history of struggling in the postseason, you think that might be part of the problem, right? Uh, Too patient? Yeah, he's a great player that, uh, given the next three years, those numbers will reverse itself. But he's not afraid to take pitches and take a lot of them. Mookie takes ball four. So that gives some energy back to this Dodger Stadium crowd, reeling after the three-run top of the first from the Padres. And now, a nice ovation for Freddie Freeman. Well, the question is going to be with Freeman, I would imagine, and we don't know for sure. His right ankle probably taped up. Freddie, ground ball, base hit in the right field. So Mookie walks, Freddie singles. Two on, one out for Teoscar Hernandez. The 
Dodgers trying to cut into this 3-0 deficit. Tying run at the plate, first inning. Hernandez grounds on a long third. Machado guns it to second one. Cronenworth the first, not in time. So they get the second out, and they're at first and third with two away. On a 2-2. It is a fastball, and he swings and misses. And Dylan Cease is out of this first inning unscathed. Will Smith, his last 16 games, started to show his old all-star form. Yes, he can. Ball four, pulled fastball. Up and away, and the Dodgers have the leadoff batter aboard in the second. And Gavin Lux batting from the left side. Lux with the bullet into center field and a base hit. Back-to-back -back base runners go open the second for L.A. But Shohei Otani will have a chance with runners on base. Dodgers still trailing 3-0. He represents the tying run. With two on and two out in the second inning. Ouch. Oh, man. I don't got the knee, right? Never got it hurt. Dodger fans holding their breath. There's a drive! It's a bullet! Was there any doubt? Shohei Otani arrives in October with a three-run home run. The game's brightest star, ready for the game's biggest stage. A game-tying three-run home run. Knotted up at three after the first Major League postseason home run for Shohei Otani, as if there was a doubt. Now Yamamoto. We'll face Fernando Tatis Jr. to start the third inning with the game knotted at three. How does Yamamoto respond as he calmed down? He had a better second inning. One, Tatis hits it hard on the ground up the middle into left center field. That's a base hit. And Fernando is standing at second with a hard hit. One more out to get to Strand Tatis. Here's Jackson Merrill with Fernando at second, two away. Splitter low and away. And Yamamoto screaming at himself on the mound. He could not land that splitter. The entire A.B. to Merrill. Padres now two on and two out for Xander Bogarts. Three-run homer from Shohei Otani. Yamamoto trying to keep it that way. Bogart swings, lines it down the left field side. That's a fair ball. Hernandez slides to try and cut it off. He can't. Rolls behind him, gets stuck in the base of the wall. Both runs are going to score. Bogarts at second, and the Padres back in front. It's 5-3. to three. Freeman to Oscar Hernandez and Muncy in the bottom of the third. How long can you go with Yamamoto, and what have you seen? You know what, I just think right now that's the end of the line for tonight. Um, I think that these guys are taking some good swings, and, you know, we had a chance to, uh, you know, minimize damage, left to break them all up to Bogarts, and I just feel, you know, coming around, I thought Tatis had some good at-bats, so we're going to get Ryan Brazier in there and try to shorten this game a little bit. Dave, earlier today, the guy at the plate, Freddie Freeman, you were not at all confident he was going to play. What changed? His heart, desire, um, there's a little bit of medical help, and uh, he's just willing himself in there and got a big hit for us. And unfortunately, the slide scared me a little bit. And, and there's another knock. And, you know, Freddie Freeman, he's a, he's a ball player, man. And uh, I wish I could, uh, you know, he's a model for every ball player. And it's just will and desire, Kenny. Dave, thanks a lot. You got it. He runs. There's no way. Throw down. He's stolen a base. Freddie Freeman on a bad ankle, doing his best. Kirk Gibson in October. Swing and a miss on a filthy slider right there from Dylan Cease. Two outs, and the Padres leading 5-3. Two and two again. Smith swings and misses, strike three. And on the eighth pitch of the at-bat, Cease gets him his fifth strikeout of the night. Bottom of the fourth inning and the bottom of the order for the Dodgers. Coming up against Dylan Cease. Padres with a 5-3 lead. Edmund bunts this one left side. Cease turns and throws in. It's late. It's a bunt hit for Tommy Edmund. Yeah, the old uh, high school shortstop, power hitting shortstop right there. Got to have a little fun trying to make it a play, but can't get him. One on, one out on the fourth. The Dodgers trailing 5-3. to three. Rojas with a base hit in the left field. A liner over the head of a leaping Bogarts at short. Back to back have reached for the Dodgers in the fourth. Dylan Cease's night will come to a close after three and a third innings in game one of this NLDS. Two on, one out for Otani. Pitching change for the Padres. They go to Morahone, and Otani against Morahone is three for four with a home run. Cracks his bat on a flare into center field. It's down for a base hit. They stop Edmund at third, throw behind him. The Dodgers go station to station. The bases will be loaded for Mookie Betts. Here's Mookie Betts. Inside, it dribbles by. Here comes Edmund, and he scores. The Dodgers are within one. Rojas and Otani advance as well. Not sure if this will go down as a wild pitch or a pass ball. 
And it is going to change it. Wow. They're going to put bets on and go lefty lefty against Freddie Freeman. Now that's surprising a little bit right there. But the reason they may do that is they that out pitch was not there for them. Bases loaded for Freddie Freeman on a bad ankle, two for two with a stolen base. Grand ball to the right side. It'll be Solano coming home for the force, and it is in time. Bang, bang, play at the plate. And a great job of fielding it by Higashioka. Solano able to cut down Rojas, who is not running well. And now we wait and see if the Dodgers want to challenge it. I'll tell you what, that yeah, is such a difficult play. play. The play is under review. All right, so initially the Dodgers, it looked like signal to Dave Roberts they weren't going to challenge, but now they will. Well, that challenge is not going to hold up unless I'm missing something. That, that's not even close. The catcher had his back left foot on the right portion of the plate. It was a bouncing throw home, which you can understand given Solano was doing it on the yep. run. So maybe the Dodgers are wondering, was the ball controlled by Higashioka? After review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. The runner is out. Los Angeles will have one challenge remaining. L.A. with the bases loaded, two outs here in the bottom of the fourth inning. And Teoscar Hernandez coming up against Estrada. Two guys who have never faced off before. He takes one to right center field. This ball will skip underneath the glove of Merrill. Otani's in. Mookie behind him. The Dodgers have the lead. Teoscar Hernandez clutches up once again. It's now 6-5. to five. That was their 11th at bat with runners in scoring position. Two and a swing and a miss on that splitter you were talking about. You said it at the start of the game. The Dodgers may have to out-hit their pitching problems, and so far today they have. It's a shutdown fifth inning for Ryan Brazier and Alex Fessia, and Brazier loved it top step. It remains 6-5 Dodgers, beginning his march from the mound to the dugout. Now the Dodgers very, very quickly here. Three pitches into the inning. Have runners on the corners and nobody out. First and third, nobody out. Another 0-2 pitch. Edmund grounds one sharply to short. Bogarts thought about coming home, goes to second for one, and they still turn a double play. 6-4-3, Smith is in to score. Second walk of the inning, and what an unbelievable plate appearance turned in by the 21 year old instead of late letting him face Xander Bogarts Dave Roberts is going to call upon Blake Trinan Xander Bogarts a veteran coming to the plate and Jake Cronenworth in the on deck circle is popped up shallow left center field falling in a hurry that's in trouble but caught by Rojas over the shoulder in no man's land for the second out of the eighth third walk of the inning to load the bases. Padres with only one hit against the Dodger bullpen over five innings, but with the free passes here, they have put the pressure on. Two walks from Kopech, a walk from Trinan, and it's Solano, the 36-year-old veteran. Strike three, swinging. Blake Trinan goes to the slider. Gets the swing and miss he was looking for and leaves them loaded. No runs, no hits, three walks, and three left. After seven, Padres five here in game one. The Dodgers... The Padres both have leaned on their bullpens in this game. Really, that's been the story. Swings and misses, strike three. Now the lineup turns over. And here's a guy that finds a way to get on base. It's Luis Arise. It's a oh, caught by Gavin Locks. A sinking line drive to second base. And Locks on the first cut of the grass. Dove to his left and brought in the second out. And Manny Machado will come to bat. With two on and two out here in the ninth inning. Dodgers sticking with Blake Trinan. Dave Roberts is top step. One more strike to get. Trinan out of the stretch. Kicks, fires, swung on and missed strike three. And that is a game one win for L.A. Facing the most feared hitter in the San Diego lineup. Blake Trinan threw a dastardly breaking ball. Way off the plate. Got Machado to chase and end the game.